Do you ask yourself, what did I do wrong in relationships? As social creatures, we have a natural desire to connect emotionally with others. According to social psychologist, Roy Baumeister, this need for social connection is deeply ingrained in biology and psychology. And it's a basic human motivation at the beginning of human evolution. However, getting too caught up in making those connections can make us appear desperate, indicating a lack of confidence and independence. So it's important to find a balance between pursuing connections and being true to yourself. To help you identify the ways you might unknowingly seem desperate, here are five behaviors that make you less attractive and how to change those behaviors. Constant validation. Uh, do you often feel nervous about whether the person you want will accept you or not? Wanting to feel appreciated and accepted by others is natural, but constantly seeking validation can have negative consequences on your well being. According to a renowned therapist and author, Dr. Marissa Peer, seeking validation from others can stem from a belief that you're not good enough, which can be detrimental to your confidence and self worth. Dr. Peer recommends building self confidence by focusing on self acceptance and self love and relying on your own opinions and judgments of yourself. Practicing self-acceptance and self-love involves being kind, understanding, and forgiving to yourself, and striving to be the best version of yourself without any judgment. By prioritizing self-acceptance and self-love, you can break free from constantly seeking validation from others and cultivate a positive relationship with yourself. People-pleasing. Do you often feel that you need to please other people just to make them accept you? It's understandable to want to make others happy and be well-liked, but constantly going out of your way to please everyone can have some negative relationship impacts. As pointed out by respected researcher and author, Dr. Brene Brown, people-pleasing behavior can come from a fear of rejection and a desire to be accepted by others. This fear can make it tough to be true to yourself and express your honest opinions. While it might seem like you're doing the right thing by pleasing everyone, it can actually be quite draining and unfulfilling in the long run. When you're always trying to make others happy, it can be easy to lose sight of your own identity and values. This can leave you feeling unfulfilled and dissatisfied with your life. It's important to prioritize being true to yourself and expressing your honest opinions, even if it means disagreeing with others. Social psychologist, Dr. Susan Newman, emphasizes the importance of setting boundaries and focusing on your own needs and desires so you can cultivate relationships based on mutual respect and honesty and develop a stronger, more authentic sense of self. In the fast lane, do you often enter into a relationship without getting to know the person first? Rushing into a new relationship is tempting, but it can have negative consequences. Psychologist and relationship expert, Dr. John Gottman warns that moving too quickly can increase the risk of heartbreak and disappointment. Taking things slow and getting to know your partner over time is key to building a strong and healthy relationship based on trust and intimacy. Rushing into things can lead to misunderstandings and miscommunications that can harm the relationship in the long run. Dr. Gottman advises learning about your partner's values, interests, and life goals before making any major commitments. Building a lasting relationship takes effort and patience, so enjoy the journey and let things develop naturally. Self-sacrificing. Are you the type of person who often goes into hero mode? When you love someone, it's natural to want to make them happy. Sometimes this means putting your own interests on hold, but sacrificing your passions and hobbies to please others can have negative consequences for both you and the relationship. Dr. Terry Orberg, a relationship expert and partner at Oakland University, warns that it can lead to resentment and dissatisfaction. In a healthy relationship, it's important to support and encourage each other's individual interests and hobbies. Pursuing your own passions not only helps you grow as a person, but can also make you more attractive to potential partners. Dr. Orberg, even suggests that following your passions can enhance your overall attractiveness to others. She advises you to be true to yourself and the right partner will come along and support your passions. Availability. Have you ever felt like you're always available to everyone and everything? In today's world, you're always connected to everyone and everything around you thanks to your devices, but being too available can hurt your mental and emotional well-being. Sherry Turkle, a social studies of science and technology professor at MIT, found that always being connected can leave you feeling disconnected from yourself and others, leading to anxiety, depression, and life dissatisfaction. You can also harm your relationships by limiting your time and space for self-reflection and intimacy. To stay healthy, it's important to balance availability with self-care and reflection, and give yourself the time and space you need to connect with yourself and those you love. 
maintain good mental and emotional health and cultivate healthy relationships with those around you. So the next time you realize you're always available, remember to take a step back, breathe, and give yourself the time and space you need to connect with yourself and those around you. Do any of these signs resonate with you? We'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with anyone who might find it useful. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. We appreciate you tuning in and we'll see you again soon. And remember, you matter.